We have been investigating the lack of medical and educational resources on Taiwan's offshore island of Lanyu in the past couple of days. Today, we turn our attention to local inhabitants' culture. The Dao people's traditional home is typically divided into three sections. The residence, a workshed, and a wooden wallace lodge raised up from the ground on stilts. Locals said that these traditional homes are the most appropriate for their climate and give the best protection against wind, rain, cold, and earthquakes. Everything is built using local materials, making this ancient architecture environmentally sustainable, as well as comfortably durable. Unfortunately, young people are forsaking their ancestral homes in exchange for larger concrete buildings. Now, less than 100 of these traditional homes remain. Resident, workshed, summer lodge, these three types of buildings are a little different, one usually sees. And that's because this is the traditional architecture developed over many centuries by the natives of Lan Yu, the Dao people. This is a traditional residence of the Dao people. It is a partially subterranean structure, much like a cave. They're very short so that even a person of 165 centimeters height must kneel while inside. The interior is all made from wood, making it very warm in wintertime, and because it's underground, very cool during the summer. Inside are family treasures, handed down from generation to generation. These are safe during earthquakes, not like the concrete homes. Those are really dangerous. They collapse on people. 85-year-old Wang Tianxu has complete faith in the comfort and safety of the Dao's traditional homes, whether facing typhoons, earthquakes, or other extreme weather. Concrete homes don't last as long, and they collapse. After only 10 or so years, they start to crumble. This is Mr. Wang's own family home. During the summer, the old man will take his rest on the stilt lodge outside, while his work is done in the workshed. The tribe's traditional daily lifestyle is divided among the various buildings. This area is the flattest and most even. It hasn't got any big obstacles. With the wisdom of their ancestors infusing these buildings, it is a sad testament to the modern world that not even a hundred survive. Too many families have opted for larger concrete homes. Because of various cultural impacts, the young people don't want to live in these underground homes, so mainly it's only the old people who remain. Within the traditional tribal areas, every household is a close neighbor of another, giving them a solidarity that resists the pressures of the technological world. Mr. Wang will continue to advocate for the comfort and safety of his preferred home, and the ancient memories they recall.